Hey guys, I'm coming to you live from Sydney, Australia. I just left Perth today and I just arrived in Sydney about an hour ago. I'm in my Airbnb. It's so cute and I have a little view, but it's dark right now, so I don't really want to show it. I am so excited. This is my first solo trip ever. Well, I guess like my first solo solo trip like I'm staying by myself doing everything by myself is what I mean like I've traveled to places alone but I've always met up with someone once I'm there right now I just got like dressed because I was just in the airplane for so long I'm gonna go and try and find some food at a restaurant and I'm gonna bring you along with me and sorry I just keep staring at myself in the mirror because I don't have a viewfinder okay let's go so I actually lied to you guys when I said I was gonna take you along, but that's because I got sushi to go, sushi hub, but I forgot chopsticks. Like they were literally right in front of me. I'm staying in a little Airbnb that's right near like Thai town and Chinatown. The food here I already know is gonna smack. And I got this sushi. I'm so I only got like six, so I'm not, I'm kind of, actually I'm pretty hungry, but I kind of want to wind down a little bit and I feel like six will be good, but I'm just gonna have to do it with my hands. So I don't have like a table in my Airbnb. So I'm just like sitting on my bed in my outside clothes, but I just put on my outside clothes, so. Oh, that's good. walk in this beautiful park. I think eventually it turns into the botanical gardens, but I'm walking towards the art gallery of New South Wales. Oh my god, there's so many birds around. But it doesn't open until 10, so I feel like I'll walk around for a little bit and just see it. botanic gardens right now and I see water over there I finished the art museum about I want to say 20 to 30 minutes ago and here it's just like getting a fresh a breath air and there's so many cool birds too but it's okay because I have to pack up by tomorrow anyways. Well, not tomorrow, like 
Saturday morning. Anyways, it doesn't matter. But I'm back in my hotel room, had a little outfit change because I got Nutella on my jeans at lunch. I went to this place called like Four Frogs Crepery. I think it might be a chain around Sydney or in New South Wales at least. It was really good, but then I just got some Nutella on my jeans and I basically did everything I like planned out for today by 2 p.m. Now I'm gonna try and think of things to do. I kind of did want to go thrifting, but I had it planned for tomorrow. But honestly, no, I don't know. Like maybe I could just do it now since it's like 3 p.m. and I don't want to go shopping for too long and most of the places close at five and it's only like a 20 minute train ride. So maybe I'm gonna go do that. And I also, I was wearing like a leather jacket, a sweater and this, so I was kind of burning up. So now I'm just gonna put this and I'm gonna put on my light jacket and I got my sambas on. I don't know, I kind of like this outfit better. It's so nice outside today, and tomorrow it's gonna be really nice too. It's just super sunny here. The weather is really cooperating for my last few days in Australia. Anyways, I'm so excited. I'll take you along with me. I just need to charge my camera for a little bit, and I'll pack my bag, and then we can head to Newtown and go op shopping. Hey guys, so I lied when I said I was gonna film me going op shopping in Newtown because I didn't. Well, I did go to Newtown and I did go op shopping, but I didn't get anything and I didn't film anything because I always just feel weird filming in stores, especially like clothing stores and when there's no one in there and it's so exposed. I just booked a dinner reservation, but only for myself. So I'm kind of nervous because I mean, I've eaten at places alone before, but it's been like casual, but this is like an actual restaurant where I'll be sitting by myself. Do I bring a book and a journal so I'm entertained? Because I won't have anyone to talk to you and I don't want to be on my phone. Do I order a glass of wine? This could be on the table. Anyways, I'm gonna go do that. It's a place called Macchiato. It's a little Italian restaurant. I looked at the menu. There looks like there's a few things I would enjoy. Maybe even get some dessert. I just want to treat myself because tomorrow I have a fun little evening planned for myself, but I probably won't be able to get like real dinner because it's at seven what I'm doing. I'm excited. I need to stop saying yeah. But anyways, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go rest for a little while and then we'll go eat something. So I went to Bondi this morning and a Speedo's Cafe for kind of a brunch vibe. It was so good, I loved the matcha. And now I'm on a walk to like a different location to see the opera house from and then I'll probably go to the normal one and then maybe read in the park because yet again, it's like not even 12 yet and I've done so much. Also, doesn't this kind of look like the Dance Academy? vibes. I know it's not because I looked it up and it's in some wharf. Not this wharf though, but another one. Also, I don't know if I'm going the right way. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later.
Okay, so it's been a few hours. I just took an hour and a half nap because I felt just a little like sick. I think I was just also really tired because I woke up so early and I've just been like walking around doing everything. I also, I don't know, my stomach just hurt really bad. I think it's because I ate the food obviously that you saw from Speedo's Cafe, which was really good, but I didn't leave myself any time to digest and then I was just on the go. And now I still have a lot of time. It's three o'clock and my thing tonight is at seven. So I think I'm gonna go get a coffee just so I can stay awake and read in the park. I'm kind of sad that I felt sick, but I feel sometimes you really need to rest and I have a super long flight tomorrow and it's early so I have to wake up. So I want to make sure I'm feeling good. I'm pretty sure the lighting is terrible. It's like so bright, I think, in this corner. I don't know if that makes it better. I think I'm just gonna go to where the Anzac Memorial is, like Hyde Park area. Maybe I'll walk around, see some new things, you know? Just wanted to give you guys a little update. Still so excited for tonight. Still want to surprise you guys. Maybe I'll tell you when I get it ready because it's literally gonna be in a few minutes when you guys watch us anyways. Okay, bye. <laughs> sitting on a park bench in Hyde Park. It's kind of squeaky, but I have my coffee from Normcore Coffee. It's really good. And I just went to like the Anzac Memorial, kind of got sucked into the museum, not like in a bad way, like it was good, but it's just not what I expected to do. I just wanted to go and look around, but then I started talking to this guy and about like school, where I'm from. Now I'm gonna find a spot to journal. Probably not this bench because it's making a lot of noise. So I'm probably gonna go lay in the grass. Okay, so surprise time is here, and it's not really a surprise, I guess. I bought a ticket for myself to go see Tchaikovsky at the Sydney Opera House tonight. I'm wearing jeans, which I've been wearing all day, and then I just put on a leather jacket and a sweater. But I kind of want to wear, sorry, my head's probably cut off, this skirt. I'm afraid I'm going to be too cold. Anyways, I'm really excited. I am going to go, I think, just get some food before. Head over to the Opera House. I'm debating my whole outfit right now. Anyways, see you later. Hey guys, I'm back from the Sydney Opera House. And let me just say, that performance was just amazing. It was just so good, it was Tchaikovsky, so I feel like I knew a lot of it. That sounds like so weird, but I don't know, just because I remember from music class in high school, in music theory, music history, and just obviously in general, because Tchaikovsky is so famous. And then I just tried to go get a sweet treat, and everywhere is closed. It's only 10 p.m. And well, it was a little bit past 10 p.m. for some place. It was 10.04, but they closed at 10, and then some closed at 9.30 and 9. And I'm like, what do I have to do to get a little sweet treat? Anyways, I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog because tomorrow I have to get up really early and tonight I'm just packing up the rest of my stuff. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it was entertaining for you. It was very fun for me to make and film, especially since this was my first solo trip ever. I hope you watch my next video and I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye! Yeah. What's the worst case scenario? Then out of your head, how it's all gonna go?
So you think you got it covered But there's always something new that you discover You've not thought about You can never figure out Every possible outcome And you're so scared you'll get it wrong 